How much money do you need to start as a freight broker in 2022? We've talked all about the various costs that freight brokers incur, and the optional costs are almost limitless since there's always a new tool or feature coming out that you can purchase. So let's say you just wanna be a freight broker on a budget. What are the bare bone minimum costs and how much money would you need? We're gonna break this all down in this week's video, so stay tuned. What's up guys, I'm Nate with Freight360, and today is a video all about money and how much you're gonna to need to become a freight broker. But first, if you're new to this channel, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little notification icon down below to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest content. Okay, first, let's start off with the licensed freight broker. There's only three main things that you'll need to pay for to get licensed as a freight broker and run your own brokerage company. First is the cost to apply for your authority from the FMCSA, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. That'll run you about $300 as of this year. Make sure to check out all of our other content and our course for an in-depth instruction series on how to get your authority. Next is your freight broker bond. The cost of your bond will vary based on risk levels as a business owner, but we're typically seeing currently new brokers paying somewhere between $1,500 and $3,000 their first year. Lastly, you'll wanna pay a process agent company to serve as your process agent in all 50 states. You could do it yourself, but you can also just knock this out by paying $50 to a single company and save you all the headaches of having to manually identify somebody in all 50 states. So, licensed broker. In this situation, you can expect to pay somewhere around $2,000 in your first year to get started. Keep in mind, we didn't include any of the extra costs such as load boards or a transportation management system or TMS. On that note, you can get your first month free for DAT's load boards and Ascend TMS's broker software if you use the links down in the description box below. So let's talk about agents and W-2 employees. So what if you don't have the money to start your own brokerage? Well, you can go work for somebody else and that's exactly what freight agents and employee W-2 freight brokers are doing. They don't have to pay to get their bond or their authority since they're gonna work under someone else's and they typically receive a commission for their work. It's a great way to spend no money out of pocket and learn from a seasoned professional. The only downside here is that you're gonna likely earn less money and commission than you would if you kept all of your company's profits as a licensed broker would. Now we break down the earnings between licensed brokers, agents, and W-2s and some of our other content, so make sure to check that out if you're curious for an example of the actual difference in those three situations. Now the benefits of working as an agent or an employee for a broker, they tend to outweigh the downsides, especially if you're brand new. You're not paying anything out of pocket in most cases, and you've got the guidance and training from someone else that's already found success in this industry. So, to answer the question, long story short, it could cost you absolutely nothing, just maybe a little bit of time, to start brokering freight. But you'll have to find a brokerage company that you can go work for. And for those of you looking to start your own brokerage business, you'll need just a little bit of startup cash to get things off the ground. That's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.